Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. <sighs> Michelle is here on October the 3rd, 2024, on a Thursday. Can you believe it's October already? Jeez Louise. Ah, so I rested very, very well. And um, I, I wanted to get up and talk about some things, you know. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of people are doing some reflecting, I hope. I hope. I don't know. I'm not really sure um, because um, it's it's just so hard because a lot of us really don't do not display uh, whether you know whether we're online on the social media platform and even sometimes when you're in their face you know per, you know face to face with them a lot of people do not really display what's really going on inside of them and that's a good thing really. Because that gives you the opportunity to kind of figure out, okay, what is really going on here? And I'm so thankful for myself that I trusted myself. And I told you, if I have trust issues, the trust issues are with me, not with anybody else. Okay. Um, and I've also said, you know, if I, if, if there's, if I have, if something happens in my life per se, I, I first want to own responsibility and accountability for my part because things just do not happen in your life without you participating. A lot of us are just unconscious about it. We're not conscious of what we're saying and doing and how we're acting and behaving. So these experiences start showing up and then we're thinking, okay, what's that all about? And I'm so thankful that I trust myself. You know, even though I had, I, you know, you're going to go through a lot of uh, questioning yourself. And, and that's part of evolution, by the way, just questioning whether, okay, what was that all about? What was this all about? Is this genuine? Is this original? Is this, you know, those are the kind of things that goes or go on inside of you. Whereas no one has to know. Nobody would know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Uh, so the many things that are happening is that. A lot of us are worried about what everybody else is doing. Even though we say we, we're not, that's also natural to do. We kind of figure out, okay, what is everybody else doing? And uh, a lot of people use that as a, a springboard, so to speak, to, to, you know, to figure out, okay, what, you know, what do I need to do? That, I mean, I would, I hope, you know, and what I said about hope, sometimes there's some doubt. I hope that some of you are just just taking these moments and opportunities to to really get your you know get yourself grounded in reality about what's ahead of you for some of you is is devastation especially in relation to our climate you know in relation to our climate there's a lot of devastation a lot of people are experiencing a whole lot of stuff and uh, having to deal with insurance companies oh my good you know Having to deal with these kind of entities that make sometimes make matters worse. And I don't know what makes matters worse than insurance. You know, insurance just, it, it, it keeps you in a perpetual state of anxiety, which it, that, that, and it causes overwhelm and ex, being extreme when you have to deal with the, these kind of, you know, they call, used to call it red tape. You know, all this, all this garbage that you have to go through just to um just to get it get your life back in order and again i'm so glad i trust myself and the reason i say that is because i listen to what is going on inside of me you know i pay attention to my innermost being and when my innermost beings you know like when i decided to move over here to the west coast ah man you know it, you know, and whether I stay here or not, that's irrelevant. The fact that I took that move, that I took that risk, you know, natural, natural balanced risk of taking a trip from, from the East coast to the West coast. Okay. Those are, and, and I trust myself in doing that. Um, I didn't feel any, you know, I didn't feel any regret about, I, and I haven't up to this, even up to this day, there's no regrets at all because I trust myself i've worked on my animals being via meditation via learning via ex life experiences most definitely to get to a point where okay i trust 
myself. I love myself and I know what it feels like to trust myself and to love myself and how it can relate to others. You know, I mean, you know, I could have um, thrown in the towel a couple of years ago after, you know, after certain life experiences I've had. And that's true for all of us. We've all uh, had it life experiences that can be trans, you know, it just caused a trans shift of your reality. And then you become so clear and it's like, whoa. And that's what I love about being in the moments, especially around people that you care about, people that you love and experience how that feels. Like right now, you know, in my in my studio here, when I take a moment, I mean, I, I all I, I, I mean, you know, whew, it's just so it's just hard to put in words, but it's an unshakable um, uh, level of, you know, I would say peace and love and harmony, more so harmony, because the sounds and tones are kind of regulating. I, you know, I, my my ceiling fan is going, and I'm, you know, I'm paying attention to what I hear, see, sense, and, you know, it's, it's just a magical moment, and that's just a metaphor. There's no really no such thing as magic, but it, I'm, I'm telling you, once you get to a certain level of consciousness and evolving of your consciousness, it is an unshakable uh, reality. In, in other words, it's, it's very difficult for someone to take me down. It, I mean, it's not going to happen unless they just intention, intentionally target me and and overwhelm me and, you know, you know, take my life. I mean, that's, that's the only way that could happen. But as far as attempting to, you know, get inside my head, you know how a lot of people say that some people are inside their head, you know what I mean? You have to, you have to, you have to, you have to take ownership to that. And, and and decide how you're going to be thinking. Like anytime I I think of something that I you know that I don't want to think about, I I immediately say to myself, I got this. I say it silently. However, nobody knows, and I don't really necessarily have to do this, but it just feels good. <laughs> you know, it just feels good doing this. It's like getting a hug, a virtual hug. But you know, I say to myself, you know, I got this. Okay, and then that keeps me conscious of what I'm thinking about and what I need to do next. Da, da, da. So trust yourself. Trust the process. It's not easy, and nor do nor and easy. Whether it's easy or hard, is irrelevant. Really, it's 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 a necessity. How about that? It's a necessity. You know, you, these are these are um, uh, situations that requires you know hands on deck. You know, you you really need to be in on it you know you really need to be in on it and and focusing on it and like I and trust yourself you know people are gonna people are gonna be people you know what I mean and um you know uh, I've made a lot of mistakes as I said and I'm glad I did um but I still in the deep deep crevices of my life I said look this is worth all the effort I put into it you know whether it's um I mean, no matter what it is, it's worth the efforts to put it in. And I'm so thankful I stayed on that course. I stayed on that journey. I didn't I didn't waver. Even though there was a lot of obstacles, there was a lot of roadblocks, there was a lot of detours. You know, sometimes you're gonna go through that. But I keep it moving. And I'm I'm gonna keep it moving, you know. Um it's uh it just feels so good. And that's part of why I rest, you know, I can rest. And it's not, I mean, it's no different than anyone else. You know, I, you know, we just have to, uh, you know, not be so, just be kind and gentle. You know, if you're having trouble sleeping, realize that everybody is having trouble sleeping. Like I told you, I don't know if I'm sleeping or not. I know that I do rest. And that's the most important thing. I rest. You know, and I stay grounded. I stay focused. I'm breathing. I make sure I check my breathing all the time. You know, and I just put up with stuff. You know, people are going to be people. Like I said, people are going to be harassing you. People are going to be making fun of you. People are going to be targeting you. People are going to be judging you. And people, you know, that, that you know, that just comes with the territory. Okay. Uh, some people may uh, have a perception of me just as I have a perception of them. 
but then once everything is once everything comes together and there's a uh, the energy is move you know i mean it, it's it's magnificent you know it's fabulous it feels good it feels right that's why i said we know the difference between right and wrong don't be fooled by people claiming otherwise and i know a lot of, let me also say this i had i was thinking about this that we you know as a as a as a uh, as human beings we started in the beginning as barbaric okay that is almost close to a billion years ago okay and what my point is is that we we had our barbaric behaviors and actions billions millions of years ago okay we've had plenty of opportunities is my point to make things right okay and so that's why i get a little concerned when people say it's never too late well that's i mean you really need to look at the big picture when you say that or you can start over look at the big picture when you say that or um the one that bothers me the most, and you know, it just bothers me because it's not true, saying that you got time. You got time, you got time. We had time, say billions of years ago when we, when, when, you know, when it all started, okay? And that's why I say a lot of people are so afraid to reinvent the wheel. You know, that's a metaphor actually, but you know, look at the big picture of that. You know, so, 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 and, and the planet, Nature, evolution, all of that is not going to sit, sit around waiting for you. Not going to happen. So what's going to happen in the future? I mean, if you're thinking clearly and effectively and you're using logic, you're being rational and reasonable, you, you, you can see the future yourself and there's nothing magical about it. It's cause and effect. So what do you think is going to happen? Now, that's, those are the questions you need to ask yourself. What do I, what do I think is going to happen if I don't do this or that and the other? Okay, what am I doing? What am I saying to myself? It is an internal process. So just be just be mindful of your words. Be mindful of what you're, and be, be more specific, you know, cause, because you have to realize how many people are paying attention to us. Even though, like I said, don't pay too much attention about how people who are following you and who are liking your stuff. Please get over that. There's so much manipulation with that. And why not? I mean, come on. If you knew the government was watching you and liking, you know, imagine the, the government liking some of your posts. You know how weird that is <laughs> and how unlikely? But they do. They're paying attention to us. They listen to our conversations on the phone. They, you know, because I was talking to a relative the other day. And I told, I told him, you know, you know, because I told him about things that happened to me. And he probably, when I told him the things that were happening to me, he probably said, oh, yeah, that, uh, you know. But then, mm -hmm, he realized I was telling him the truth. So, just understand that there's a lot going on in the background. Stop believing you know what's going on. Nobody really does, but if, you are, you, if you're thinking properly, you can get a bigger picture and you'll be able to get answers flowing into you, impulsing into you about what's really going on. Okay, uh, you know, like I said, just imagine Joe Biden liking one of your posts. I mean, you know, or the president, or whoever, Trump, whoever, whoever. Okay, get over all of that. That it can't happen. That it's not happening. Get over it. Stay within your understanding of things. And keep learning because you, I mean, you know, of course, learning is what helps to keep, keep it, keep the movement. There has to be a movement. And so I just want to say, oh man, I'm so thankful that I trust myself. I really, oh, cause I could have given up on certain things, you know, after, uh, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, you, you know, when you get rejected or you fail or you, um, make mistakes a lot of people just throw in the towel not me and you know why because i was able to separate my ego my beliefs i mean there is something so powerful that we it, you can't put it into words and i just call it energy you know i just call it energy is there's something about it that can open you up you know and you can you can see clearly now 
literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. So, and, um, you know, it's, it's just the closest thing to love. But, you know, love is undescribable as well, you know. So, just trust yourself. Vow to get to the bottom of things. Again, and I also put a post out. You're going to get your, your psychiatrist, your therapist, your this and that. You know, these people that are supposedly helping you in your life that are not going to let go. They're not going to let you go. And so you're going to have to be very creative about it and get yourself out of that kind of stuff. You know, just kind of be creative. Trust yourself. Again, you are responsible for your life. When, you know, like a lot of people are going through things now, you know, you know, where are these people that are supposed to be there for you? You know, where are they? So trust yourself, ground yourself, reach out to me, you know, put put the information out, I find it. Put your questions out there, I find them. And let's just walk this path together, you know, you know, in an in a equal form. Like, you know, we still got our own paths. Don't attempt to dismiss that. Don't attempt to do it. All you're doing is attempting to fool your consciousness. And then what happens? Another experience comes through that you have to deal with because you didn't want to deal with the other experiences that you have. Okay, so again, we've been at this for billions of years via our evolution. Okay, so to say to someone you know that they have time mm, that's not necessarily true and just be just be realistic about it and ask yourself okay time for what what do i have time for except now okay so i'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains it is about universal love i mean and the energy of that the act of love is beautiful <sighs> and breathe okay peace and love and trust me i'll be back